Please excuse the noise. I got my door open as usual. I need to start closing it when I'm talking to y'all because the sound is everything. But hello, good people. Y'all know I got the ghetto set up over here. You know, the ninja raid, you know. We trying to make it happen. You know, this is, this is very un Virgo like but um, we're gonna make it happen. I'm always in a rush as usual. But uh, it's your boy, Jay Whitfield Inspires. You know, the Virgo, the, the, Virgo, the Virgo, the chaplain, the reverend, preaching. We here, baby. We are here. Y'all already know what to do. Hit the like button when you come into the room. Wipe your feet when you come into the room. What does wipe your feet mean? That means hit the like. That means you gotta share it. That means you gotta hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. So this is a live video. You know, what's good, Crystal? Crystal's in the house, you know. So we talking about Virgos today as usual, you know. I gotta get my setup together, y'all. Look, I, when I be, I be getting on here, I be coming from outside, running around. I be down to the last minute. But yeah, I'm, I'm, we gonna get it together. We gonna, we gonna get it together. Um, but I'm busy, I gotta go, I gotta travel tomorrow. You know, I ain't gonna tell y'all where I'm going. Cause some of y'all try to sabotage, but you know, I got some big things coming up this week. Gotta take a couple of flights, whatever. Just gotta handle some business, you know what I'm saying? Just big opportunities I'm trying to get. So, you know, I'm trying to make it happen. But what's good, everybody? Wipe your feet when you come in the room. Wipe your feet. So, yeah, we'll go get into it. But, but first, make sure y'all join the membership. You, we got to handle the house rules before we get going. Join the membership on the channel because, look, next week, I'm going to be dropping some videos for the members only. You know, I'm going to drop some videos for the members only centered around like intimacy and things like that you know so you want to see those videos they're gonna be for the members only so join the membership beside the subscribe button or whatever it's somewhere up there notification bell uh like and all that good stuff and yeah support the channel so look we're gonna be talking about um virgos how, and how they be flirting what's good y'all y'all call y'all cool y'all call did i say it right y'all cool you know I'll be messing up names. The Rizzo in the house. You need life in the house. You know, but as I say every week or every day, we're not gonna be for you long. Shout out to the glasses off, y'all see me better. I got this glare over here. Mmm, mmm. But anyway, we're gonna talk about, uh, Virgos will be flirting. Virgos be flirting. And I don't know if I made a video about this, but I did a private session with somebody uh, recently and she was talking about how her Virgo man be flirting and stuff like that, you know. And I mean, I did a short. I, po I just posted a short video on my page here, on my channel here, talking about it. So to, to recap that short, we appreciate you looking sharp, you know, got a little fresh cut. So basically, I got some chopsticks here. I don't know why, I need, some, I need something in my hand. Virgo men are really, really big flirts. And I, I, I say it like this, they are covert flirts and not overt flirts. So covert means basically you do things behind the scenes, you know, you introverted with it, you know, you introverted, you do anything behind the scenes, you're not loud with it, you cool, you calm, you collect it. Overt means you just all out there with it. You know, you're loud with it, you're known, you're seen, you're heard. You know, Virgo would rather be felt than um, seen, right? They'd they rather be heard than seen. So that's how Virgo's always introvert, generally. Y'all know I'm speaking absolutes. So this is what I mean. Where some men who try to flirt with you, they might make a big scene, what's up, baby, how you doing? You looking good today. Da, 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 I love that dress, da, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. That's, in my opinion, that's overt, you know. Covert would be similar to Virgo maybe coming up and say, hey, how you doing? My name is such and such, da da da. You looking good. You know, he, re he real calm, he real into you. He real like direct with you. He real calm, he real cool with you. You know what I'm saying? He really just, he might be like, he don't want nobody to really see that he, you know, flirting with you. You know, he not really trying to make a scene. London in the house was good. That's what I mean. But Virgos do flirt really hard. Even though I always say we be nervous about stuff and we, we normally don't approach women first. 
So our flirting takes a little time, right? It takes a little time for us to get cooking, you know? You say, what about just on Facebook and social media? I, I'll get to that. I think, I think they do flirt on social media and stuff like that, you know, because it's easy to kind of get to, you know? But one, Virgos be nervous. So, you know, like I said, that's why we're not, we're not overt flirters. We also have to have interest in a woman and we kind of be in her uh, vicinity. Did I say it right? We be in her vicinity. We be in her area. We be in her space. We try to make ourselves seen by her. Now that, that's a little overt, but we try to make ourselves seen by her and not other people. Cause we want to get in her view, right? We want, we want to get in her view. And so by, by that, we, 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 try to, we try to create some type of situation where she notices us. Rather than most, I would say most men will probably maybe be more direct with the woman, going up to her, asking for a number. Virgos flirt in a different way. They try to show you rather than tell you, you know? So what is what I mean? They might, um, you might catch them doing something, doing something that's, that you know a woman likes. Let's say, I don't know, might be lifting weights or something, I'm just naming something. You know, he might be speaking at something. You know, he might be helping somebody. Whatever he thinks that you like, he gonna try to make sure you see him doing it. But it's, it's very indirect, all right? So just say if you walk into the bathroom, y'all at an event, you don't know him, he don't know you. Y'all walk into, y'all at an event, a mutual event. You know, everybody dressed up. He kind of be eyeing you like, oh, who is that over there? He don't know what to say to you. You walk into the bathroom or you walk into get some food or whatever. Now he got to put himself in your path. He got to intercept, you know what I'm saying, your path so you can see him. So you getting up from over here, he see you get up, you over there, he might get up, cross paths with you so you can see him. He might, make a, he might cause a distraction. You know, he might drop something. You know, he might bump into you, just say, excuse me, or something like that, just, just to get a look at you. Sometimes he, he'll do something to put himself in front of you, you know, to give a good look. Rather than just, come up, just, just coming up to you and speaking, they do things like this, you know. Uh, if y'all get, you know, get to talking, whatever, that's when, if you really like it, that's when the flirting will really, 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 really start, especially if he's comfortable with you. Now, Virgo, they'll flirt with you, they're comfortable with you. Now, I'll say this, some Virgos have more confidence than others. Right? You have some Virgo men who are very confident and they will do it overtly. You know, they, they will go out there and just, and just make it happen. But see, this is, this is what it is. A lot of Virgo men are very confident in themselves. They're very self-aware of who they are. They are very self-aware of their gifts and talents. They are self-aware and they think very highly of themselves. Now, they, they're not jerks. And I don't think they're jerks because I'm not a jerk, like a jock or anything like that. They're not arrogant. Now, some people call Virgo men arrogant because they're, they're confidence, but it's not arrogance. Like, we don't, we don't have to boast about who we are, right? We just be. But we know the quality we put out now. Just like ladies, you know, when you dress up and whatever, you know what day you looking good. You know you looking good that day. You got a dress on, the heels, this and that, you smelling good. You know you look good. You look good, you feel good. It's normal. So Virgos know, um, most of them, the power, I would say the confidence that they possess. And they are aware that women like it. You know, Idris Elba, you know, he's a Virgo, the great actor. Um, he was on an interview one day somewhere, I forgot where. And this was a few years ago. And I think people see him, you know, like, I don't know if they see him as a sex symbol, but a lot of women find Idris Elba very attractive very suave dude, a man, a man's man, you know, a gentleman, you know, he a Virgo. But he was on a, he was on an interview, he was like, you know, I'm very aware of the impact that I have on women. He said it so calmly. I mean, y'all gotta find that clip, it's somewhere out there. But the way he said it, he didn't say like, yeah, I'm the man, all women want me, I'm, cause I'm, you're just ever, I'm the man, he didn't say that. That's arrogant, he was like, you know, I'm, I'm aware how women feel about me, it's all good. He wasn't tripping. That's how most Virgos are. Like, I ain't tripping. Yeah, I, you know, it's cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's cool. But that's just to show you. I highlight that to highlight the 
confidence that most Virgos have uh, within themselves. They're very confident. They just are. And that's so it's not arrogant. But with that being said, the more confident ones will use that to flirt with the woman in a good conversation. If he gets, if a Virgo man gets to flowing in a conversation, that, that flirt ain't gonna come out. Cause they some, they some smooth talkers. Virgos are smooth talkers. You know, they just have to get, they just have to get past their shyness. Now Virgos are very shy when it comes to relationships with women. They have to get past their shyness. If they can get past that, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he'll flirt. He'll, he'll. Virgos, y'all don't understand. Virgos are very romantic creatures. It just has, you have to get to that point. And it's a lot of barriers in the way. You know, it's a lot of barriers in the way. But, you see what happened with Virgo man caught cheating and hurt his woman? I don't know. I gotta do a video. I, I, I don't know if I do the video on that. I gotta do a video on that. But, um, they ain't got nothing to do a flirt. Well, I guess it does have to do a flirt. Flirt with other women. But, um, yeah, so they, they, they smooth talkers. They understand their role. But it, once they get past that shyness, you know, they will really, really start to let it out. You're like, yo, where's this coming from? You know? And you, a lot of times you got catch Virgos on the right day and they'll flirt. They'll flirt heavy. And I think they're good flirts. You, you just have to catch them at the right time, for real. But, you know, um, I've, I've, been, I've been told that myself. You know, I, I'm, I'm not like a natural flirter, but I will, you know, it just, it just happens. We more of a in the moment, how it feels type of thing. Virgo's like things that flow naturally, you know, but you catch him in the right situation, he will flirt, he'll flirt with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Virgo's a flirt with you. So they, they, they are some big flirts, believe it or not. I know a lot of women like that, ain't no way, believe it or not. Now, you have some Virgo men because, you know, there's a lot of different categories. We have some Virgo men who are really, really out there like that. You know, they, they love talking to a many different women. So their appetite to converse and talk with the women is a little higher than most Virgos. You know what I'm saying? So the ones that's out there like that, they are some major flirts. Because you, you do have some Virgo men that, uh, I won't say players, but you know, if y'all ever seen that, um, no, not the Players Club. Is it the Players Club? It might be the Players Club. I don't know. I forgot my, my, the comedian. But anyway, uh, one of those movies. But anyway, the, the more confident Virgos, the one that's out there that like to chase a lot of women like that, now they can flirt, 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 because they love to be with women. They love, they they love the energy and they know how to talk. Because Virgo is a mutable sign. You gotta understand. So some of them. They know how to talk to women. Some of them, they know, they, 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 cause they, they feel like the woman's vibe. You know what I'm saying? They know, they just know. They go with the energy, you know? And, and because Virgo, most of them are really smooth guys. You know, they confident, they smooth. So the ones that possess that confidence, they know how to flirt with women, they know what to say, and all that good stuff. So you gotta be careful, cause Virgo sweep you off, sweep you off your feet. You know what I'm saying? You say you need a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, hit me up. Look, man, hit the description. Uh, hit the link in the description, you know. Pick a time that works for you. He said, do, I, do you find making the first move masculine? Nah, nah. You know what's funny? A lot of men prefer when we make the first move. It takes, it takes the edge off. Um, but when a woman makes the first move, ladies, yeah, that's, that's, thank you, that's a good point. Ladies, men do not view a woman making the first move as masculine at all. We love it. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't view that as masculine at all. Women may say it's masculine, but we don't think that. I'm telling you. You might have some, but I ain't met no man say that's masculine, unless he's trying to propose or something. But now, nah, let that brother know you feeling him. You know what I'm saying? Let him, look, let him know. Let him know. And it's, it's no day and age. Let that man know. You don't have to fall out, you know, you know propose to him. But making the first, ain't nothing wrong with making the first move. Now don't, now don't y'all make me do my handkerchief speech. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the handkerchief speech. So I don't maybe go to the handkerchief speech. It was good. Gary was good. Kurt, Laurie. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, make, ain't that wrong making the first move? Make that first move. It's not masculine. We love it. You know? And it, sometimes it gives a man more confidence. Because you know, a lot of guys just generally be nervous when talking to women. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what she's going to think. Like, ah, oh, man. We, we, we really do be overthinking it. You know what I'm saying? 
And um, so yeah, sometimes making the first move, you help him, you help break the ice, you know. So yeah, but anyway, we be we be Virgo be flirting, Virgo be flirting. Once he gets to that place of confidence, you know, I I, I would say we are not natural. Most of us are not natural like flirters, natural first move makers. We mostly have to see the situation and, and get what's going on. Because Virgo, believe it or not, we really do uh, suppress a lot of our confidence. You know, we really hold back a lot from people. Because sometimes it can be too much. It can be too much. Because you start talking to Virgo, he start telling you how you feel. Most, most people are like, whoa, where all this coming from? You have no idea, girl. And once again, y'all forgive the noise. I got my door open, you know, because it's warm. It feels good. And while we're here, make sure y'all um, like, share, and subscribe, please. And join the, join the membership. Because like I said, when I first got on here, I'm dropping some videos next week for the members only. And join the membership, help support the channel. And those videos are going to be centered around like intimacy and things like that. Because everybody want me to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little nervous talking about it, but I got a lot of knowledge about it. So I'm talking about it. I'm going to break some stuff down. So it's going to be for the members only. So join that. All that good stuff. You know, you say, how you talk to a Virgo? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when you know for a fact that he's talking to other women. Oh, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's heavy. I mean, do you want to talk to him? I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously you do. I mean, you just got to, I say you got to go direct to him. You got to be direct. Directness helps a lot with Virgos because it, it, it helps us figure it all out. You know, just be direct. Like, hey, what's up? What's good? You know, <laughs> for real. I mean, I think, in my opinion, I think that's the best bet. Just be direct with them. Like, look, this is what it is. This is what I'm feeling. What's good with you? See, see what the situation is. Check the temperature. Might as well. But I, th I do think that's, that's one of the best ways to do it. But it sounds like he has a lot on his mind, so it might be a little difficult. Because he got all that going on, then he has a lot going on. So he might be very preoccupied with the women. And women are a lot to handle. You know, so women are a lot, man. Like, women are a lot. And dealing with multiple women is a lot. I don't know how you do it. Because one woman to know by herself is enough. You know, although we love women, but to deal with women on the levels like that, it's a lot, man. It would stress you out. You know what I'm saying? But it's real. Um, but yeah, look. Oh, you, know, you say, what? Somebody want me to take pictures of me? Oh, he want to make him, I'll rephrase, he say, well, he want to take pictures of you while you're sleeping? He might like watch you sleep. It's a beautiful thing. It seems a little creepy. But look, Virgos, uh, another way Virgo men flirt, of course we flirt by words, but we, we flirt by actions. Now, I won't, I won't say we flirt by action, but we flirt by more so, like I said earlier, putting ourselves around you, you know, making you laugh and stuff, get, get into your energy and your force field and getting to know you. See, Virgo's flirting, it increases over time as they get to know you, as the confidence build with you. I would say they're not like initial flirters because they have to understand what's going on, but they can do it. And the ones that can do it, they can do it well. You know, but I don't think they are players. This girl called me a player one time. I'm like, yo, I'm not a player. You know what I'm saying? I just crush a lot. No pun intended. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. And, and one thing about Virgos too, women tend to like them. They do. Women tend to like them. And that's just confidence. But it's not arrogant. It's not. Because I'm using myself as an example. You know, y'all hear me say this all the time. I had my fair share of women, nice women, beautiful women, beautiful women on the inside and out, you know. But I, I, was, I was never like the high quantity type of, high quantity women. I'm saying this all wrong. Let me, let me slow down, back it up. I wasn't the one that always got a bunch of women in quantity. I will, I will more so get quality women. Like I say all the time, my homeboys, you know, we young. We, we going out talking to women, talking to ladies. You know, they may have about five or six hovering or whatever. You know, we young. Everybody, everybody trying to talk. 
you know, I might be talking about one or two, but a one or two are dynamic. That one or that two, it make up for like three or four or five, no lie. Cause we, Virgos are very uh, specific. We like quality over quantity, you know, but that quantity does add up over time. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's so real. So yes, but they do what they do tend to get their fair share of women though. You know, women tend to like them a lot, um, and it's for various reasons. You know, I I, I found, um, and this is another reason why we kind of we look skeptical of women, because sometimes you don't know what a woman wants. Sometimes you don't really know her angle. That's one thing we is well, at least for me it's hard to figure out. Sometimes you don't know what her angle is. Sometimes. Because I, cause I, I get and do attract a lot of different women, but you don't know what I don't. You don't know what they trying to do. It's like, are you trying to be my friend? You trying to do it in? You trying to flirt? You just want to talk? What, what what's going on here? Because sometimes you don't know. You have to fill it out. Some women just want attention, so that can be a little confusing. So rather than just jump straight in, we t we chill. We take our time. We we on reserve. We have to fill this woman out. Listen to her language and watch her act and see what she really got going on. But women can be very, you know what I'm saying? You think Virgo men hard to read. Women can be very hard to read sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I had one woman one time. Um, I thought we were just cool. If we were just cool. You know what I'm saying? And then one day, you know, she wanted it all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what's good? What's up with that? You know what I'm saying? You ain't you never said nothing, but I don't know. So, Virgo men, I would say, they tend to get, they attract women, but because Virgos are slow to move or, to, or slow to make the first move, um, I think they may, they may confuse women too. And women kind of tend to be around them, but they like them and don't nobody really know what to do, but the energy is there. That happens a lot. I, I've seen that in my own life, and I've seen it with other Virgos. You know, because Virgos be he be secretly in love with you, and never say that. I know that sounds crazy, you know, but it's like that. But yeah, Virgos they 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 are some big flirts, man. They they will flirt, and so like I said, once they get that flirting going, they get that smooth language going, that smooth talking, they get that confidence up. You in for a treat, you know what I'm saying? He gonna woo you off your feet, cause Virgos are smooth, you know, and they know, for the most part, Virgos know what women like. And I'm, talking, I'm, not, and I'm talking about like the totality, like the experience, like going out, treating it nice, you know, having a nice dinner, romance. They know how to do it, I'm telling, they know. Virgos know, and they like to do that. So they flirt with things like that, they flirt with actions. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I know I said I didn't, but I mean, let me retract that. Virgos, they flirt with actions. So you ever go out to like a date or a dinner with Virgo, he gonna make it, he gonna make it special. You know, he gonna make sure you got a, you having a good time. The experience with the Virgo man would be great if y'all going out. I got so many stories, yo. You know, I got so many stories of going out, making a woman having a good time. But, you know, we be a little selfish with it because we hate for, we, we hate for a woman to take our good time for granted. That's what we hate. So some Virgos, they dealing with a lot of hurt and frustration of them showing this woman a good time and just pulling out the works for her. And she's just like, all right, you know, cool, thank you, or whatever, or whatever. You know, she's she just taking it as like a, a free meal or something, or not even a free meal, but like a free experience. You know, cause some women do that. Now some women, they just, they like to go out just for the sake of going out, just for the sake of Look what somebody did for me, but they don't—they're not really interested in the person, you know. So men hate that. I know regular men. I know I hate it, you know, and um, it's it's, it's real. So I, I I be hating that. But with that being said, we still do like to do it. But we like to do it for a person that matters. We like to do it for the right person. So y'all got that energy. Y'all go out. He gonna show you a great, great, great time. In my opinion, I'm, I'm a little biased. I think um, we're gonna show you a better time than anybody else. I know I'm I know I'm I know I'm biased, but I'm just going off of things that have been told to me in my personal experience. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what that's what been said to me. That's what been said to me. Uh, and I know some something I do, man. But I enjoy it. 
you know, I enjoy it. So I, I understand how to treat women. So if we're gonna have it, you're gonna have a great experience. So when y'all when he's flirting, you're gonna have a great experience with him if y'all going out and stuff like that. So um but just know. And flirt back. Flirt back. You know what I'm saying? Flirt back. Now look, when you flirt back, you might make him a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? Cause Virgos, they shy now. They get they get a little shy with stuff like this. They get they get a little shy. So when you flirt back, you're like, oh, you know? But the more confident ones will, will match that energy. And Virgos can talk a good game. Virgos can talk a good game, man. I'm telling you, they some good talkers. They some good talkers. But they mean what they say. They really do mean what they say. But sometimes they can write a check that they but can't cash. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. Um, who I was talking to? I talked to a lady in a session, and she was telling me that, you know, her and her Virgo, they flirt. They flirt, they flirt, you know? And so one day, she called him to task on that flirt. And she was like, all right, you're doing all this flirting, what's good? And he froze up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He froze up. Um, in my opinion, I think he froze up because he probably didn't think that she would be so open to his advances and to his flirting, you know? And he, he probably made him nervous, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when you flirt back, you get nervous, just like it's easy to be a bully, but when you get hit in the mouth, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it is crazy. It is crazy. But I, don't know, I think Virgos are, are, they're very interesting people, but you gotta understand these guys be flirting. So, but, but yeah, flirt back, flirt back. Um, if you flirt with them and they can be, you can be sensual with them. S-E-N, somebody spell sensual. Sen, not sexual, sensual. You know what I'm saying? And be sensual with them. They have to throw them off because Virgos, they initially, I'm telling you, they, they, even though they flirt, a lot of them are very, very, very shy. They're very shy and they're very bashful too. They're very bashful, they're very shy. And Virgos possess a certain innocence about them. They, they, they really do. Cause it's the sign of a virgin, you know. Um, it's, it's they very sensual, they are very uh, bashful, they are very shy, and so they can throw them off. So, so there you go, sensual. Baby, thank, appreciate it. S e n s u a l, very sensual, baby. Um, oh shit, Virgos have a very strong. My bad for the comments, y'all. I'm, I'm I'm flowing here, you know. I'm about you going in, and so I'll be <coughs> excuse me, I'll be seeing him here and there. Uh, he said Virgos have a very strong stare. It's scary. Yeah, you know what? I made a whole video about that. A Virgo be looking. You know, um, if someone asked me, do Virgo men like aggressive women? I would say yes. We like aggressive women. It makes us a little nervous, but we do like aggressive women because it helps us take away the, the, the shyness. It helps us take away the... Um, the bashfulness, you know what I'm saying? We 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 are just like that sometimes. It's funny, it's funny. But um, uh, <laughs> I was just thinking about different situations. But yeah, we do we we like we like uh, aggressive women. You're not too aggressive now, but we like women to take the initiative and things like that. Cause we're very cool, calm, and collected. But that confidence, uh, we got a lot of. Uh, trolls in the chat, y'all. I'm trying to get them out. You know what I'm saying? But we like it. We like it. I mean, I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to go through and get any trolls out of Jack. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Assertive. Yeah, assertive. Thank you. Assertive. We like assertive women. Assertive. We like assertive women. You know, pause for the calls. Y'all pray for your boy this week. Look, I got a lot of important things going on this week. I got, do, I got to do a lot of traveling this week. You know, I got to do a couple of sermons this week. So it's a, very, it's a very busy week for your boy. You know what I'm saying? So um, throw, some, throw some positive energy out there. You know what I'm saying? Get your, get your, get your boy mind right. All that good stuff. So y'all know I be preaching out here. I'm a preacher. That's what I do. You know? Um, but yeah, but anyway, back to the nature at hand. Um, 
assertiveness. Be assertive with Virgos. They love it. You know, because look, Virgos, they can be so shy and so bashful that they can take a long time to make a move. A real long get time to take a move, to make a move. They, they can't take a long time to make a move just because they shy. And they be nervous. You know, like I said, they, they, they possess a, like an innocence type of bashfulness about themselves. You know, and sometimes when you be assertive with them or you be sensual with them, it makes them nervous, but in a good way. You know, it makes him nervous, but he like it. Trust me, he like it. You know, he like it. You know, so uh, that's how you that's how you could throw him off. Cause he confident. Like I, y'all, I tell a story. Like you know, I'm, I think I'm a confident person, and I went on a date with this girl one time. You know, we talking and all that good stuff. <laughs> and um, hold on, we we we've been talking. We were talking, all that good stuff. He went out on a date. And when I saw her, she was looking so good. I was so nervous. I was like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? She just made me nervous. She made me nervous. She made me nervous. I was like, dang. Cause she was, she, she was looking good. She was looking beautiful. She was smelling good. I ain't never seen her look like that. I said, yo, dang, girl, you know what I'm saying? Another time, this girl I like, that was kind of like in the beginning stages of talking or whatever. And um, she was, she was going to a wedding when her friend was getting married or something. And um, and um, hold on, I mean, <laughs> who he goes? I don't know who who be creating these channels. Y'all boy got many channels. Anyway, she was going to a wedding, so she stopped by to uh to change uh, clothes and change her to her outfit and no she did not change in front of me she went to the bathroom and stuff like that to a private area to get changed and but anyway she came out i was like yo girl like you look good you know i mean she knew she looked good too she knew she looked good and i was like i i mean i was i was staying a hole through that girl you know what i'm saying and she kept she was flirting with me. She kept looking at me, making eye contact with me, throwing me out. Cause you know, I want to stare. I want to look at the body. Like, ooh, look at her, looking good. I couldn't really do it. Cause she kept like putting her eyes on me. She was a cancer. You know, cancer be flirting real heavy. You know, cancer got a sweet flirt, flirt about themselves. Uh, but that's just an example of, of how they be flirting and stuff like that. But anyway, she threw me off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay, let me get my confidence back. But we like it though. You know, we, we like it. We like it. Um, I don't know who these people are, y'all. I don't know where these folks come from, but they come, you know. But we like it. We like it. But I say, flirt with them, flirt back, um, be sensual, be assertive with them. Ain't nothing wrong with it. We all grown. Get the energy flowing and things like that. But it's a beautiful thing. But another, I would say another way they flirt would be. Let me see. Yeah, see, Virgo flirt, they, they like get next to you. They might be get physical with you. And this is what I mean, like bumping into you. You know, like like very, uh, I won't say elementary, but elementary type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they might bump into you. Y'all know how you, you've been in elementary school, a boy like you, they hit you or something like that. Now he ain't gonna hit you, but he's gonna like bump into you, all that good stuff, playing around with you. It, it, stuff like that. They flirt like that, you know, like physical touch in, di in different in different ways. You know, it's a beautiful thing though. But that's how you know they they <laughs> they flirt in uh, they flirt in different ways. I'm trying to figure out how this. Um, yo, y'all like my cut? I got a new cut. Got a fresh cut. You know, I'm trying to um, you know. Trying something out. I'm going with a whole bunch of different ha hairstyles and and th and things like that. So I think it's, I think it look good. What y'all think? Let your boy know something. See, my bird flirt, he catch me off guard, and I should start. Yeah, flirt back. Appreciate it. Hi, hi, old Zeus. I don't know how to say your name. Ellens. Appreciate that. You know, what I'm saying, show your boy some love. We are out here. Yeah, I got a lot of important stuff to do this week. Like I said. Uh, your beard? Yeah, man, appreciate it. 
you know. I'm just trying out, I'm trying out different barbers and things like that. <laughs> is it a man unit? No, it's not a man unit. Is it a man unit? No, nah, it ain't no man unit. But if I had a man unit, I, 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 I wouldn't be ashamed of it because women got all kind of hair pieces. You know, but you know, guys don't usually have man units, but it's, you know, it's starting to be a thing. You know, speaking of man units, this is totally random. Um, I forgot the brother's name, but he reached out to me on Instagram and he's a Virgo man. Very popular dude. He does, he does like man units and stuff like that. Oh, I forgot his name. I wish I could shout him out, but he, very popular. I mean, he making bank. And he do man units. He'll, he'll barber at the same time, but he do man units and all kind of stuff. The brother got it going on. Me and him just chopped it up when they buy Virgo stuff. It was very dope. You know, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. You know, but yeah, y'all look, man. Those Virgos, we, we different, man. But, you know, we like, we like to flirt. Especially if the woman, especially if the woman's giving her good energy. Ladies, that's another thing. Give that man some good energy. Don't, don't make him work too hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the worst thing is, you know, if you're trying to flirt with a girl and she's being a standoffish or she's not really feeling it. Now, I do understand traditionally it's a man's job to win the woman over. But on something like having a stank attitude. You know, I understand a lot of women play hard to get, and that's cool. That's cool. You know, it, you know we like a little hard to get sometimes. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. But we can, we can feel when the energy is hard, hard to get versus... Uh, Versus a stink uh, attitude, <laughs> we, we can we can feel that we can feel when, when the energy is hard to get versus a stink attitude, you know. But like if y'all flirting, you know, give them give them some of that good energy back, you know. Let them, let them, let them know what's good. You know what I'm saying? Let them know what's good because that look good good energy begets good energy. That's that's what happens, you know. Like iron sharpens iron, and ah, it's it's another it's another. Another chick, we weren't dating, but we were flirting a lot. She was a bit older than I was. Um, she was a, she was a, AKA, sorority. And um, you know, Virgos, we love women that's well put together. Like the way they dress, we love like classy professional women. Like Southern Belle type of dress and style. So this chick, she had all that. I mean, she was, she was dressed like a Southern Belle. She's AKA. I don't really care if AKA Delta, it don't really matter, but I'm just telling what she was, because they, they, they be having a certain way they dress. You know, she could have been AA for all I care. But, you know, but anyway, she was, she, that was, she was a, a sorority. Um, well, I think she was Delta. But anyway, um, man, and she was a Virgo. She was a Virgo. I was like, yo. So she used to flirt with me, man. And she used to throw me off every single time. Because she used to match my energy. Like, every time I got one up on her, she would come back with something. I'm like, ah. I couldn't, I couldn't, man. I couldn't shake. Not shake her, but I couldn't, like, you know. She used to, ah. Because she used to read my energy. She used to read my confidence. And she wouldn't let me wiggle out of it, man. She, that girl had me so bashful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the energy was good. You know, and I, I had her laughing and stuff too. I lied right now. I mean, she made, she made me come out. She made me be more confident. You know what I'm saying? Because she was matching the energy. Even she knew I was nervous. You know, but um, she matched the energy, and because she matched the energy, it made me be more confident in talking to her. You know, because I ain't. I was nervous because she was a beautiful woman. You know, and she was very confident. Very, she looked good. You know, and it, it wasn't that she looked good. She, the way she dressed, she dressed like a woman of confidence. And I like stuff like that. I like, you know, that classiness. It, it says something about you. That's just what we like, you know? It just, it just says something about you. And I can tell by the way she dressed. I'm like, dang, you know? That woman had a lot going on, like in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had so much going on. Like, I'm talking about like, as far as like career and stuff like that. I was like, dang, yo. I was even more nervous. You know, at this time, I was, you know, I was still trying to do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Trying to find my way. This girl was driving uh, a Benz, and not no, not no like little cheap raggedy Benz, something like a super duper nice Benz, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the rappers and stuff be, be driving. I'm like, ah, dang, man, you know what I'm saying? 
I was like, boy. And she was, she was just a stylish woman. And she was. She was a stylish woman. That woman, she was stylish. But she wasn't, she wasn't like stuck up stylish though. She wasn't like, um, well, I don't think she was materialistic. To me, she was very down to earth. But she was a very down to earth girl who just had stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The girl had money, all kind of stuff, businesses. I was like, dang, yo. And she had me nervous, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, um, she picked me up one day from somewhere. And I was like, dang, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm in the car, like, all right. <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying? I, I was a little intimidated. I, I'm, I'm real, I'll be real with you. But I wasn't intimidated, in fact, in a way of like, I'll hang out with this woman. It was just like, it was a little okay. I was like, okay. I mean, I don't know she was feeling me. You know, it was just like, all right, I see you, I see you. So rather than like shriek back, you know, I would, I would just big her up on the stuff she got. You make a joke out of it. I see you with your little beans, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know, just making fun of it. You know, just, just stuff like that. But the girl, she was, she was fly. She was rolling. But she would flirt back. She would just match the energy, man. I would, be, I would just be so nervous talking to this woman. You know, it was ridiculous. Because she was intelligent, too. And the way she talked, you know, Virgos, we some talkers. You know, we can talk. But she was a Virgo too, so she, I was like, ah. Anytime I make, a, I make a, like a good point or something, and she match it, she's like, oh, you didn't think I could do that, did you? Or something like that. I'm like, ah. Oh. It's like, all right. What's good, clone? Good, cool? You know? But it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But that's what I mean. So, lady, look. Match the energy. Match the energy. Here they people go. Um, match the energy. Yeah, subscribe to your boy. Subscribe to your boy. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm getting distracted. Lady, match the energy. Uh, if, if not just a Virgo man, if a guy's flirting with you and it's positive, you know what I'm saying? Match, match the energy. You know, it's positive. You know, he ain't trying to, he ain't saying nothing disrespectful. You know, <laughs> you say, Appreciate the, uh, what's that, pounds? He said, how'd I end up here? Does anyone stack silver? I don't know what you're talking about, but appreciate it. Um, but yeah, match that energy, man. Ain't nothing wrong with matching the energy because it's, it's gonna flow from there and naturally, it naturally goes. But I love women that match energy. I love, I love the, the back and forth, you know? And you'll get a good, you'll get, you, you get that good side of Virgo once you do that. Yeah, once you do that. But yeah, Virgo man, they be flirting. They be flirting. And like I said, they, and, and going back to the more confident Virgos, now the more confident Virgos, they really be flirting. Them guys, they, now them guys are the ones that, that can be players or whatever the case may be, because they know how to talk to women. They just know. They, they with it. You know what I'm saying? They with it. And they with it. They just smooth. They smooth like that. I've seen it in real time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all follow me on Instagram. And TikTok at J Whitfield Inspires. You know, follow your boy. You know, all that good stuff. But um, appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all. Is it Libras? I think I made a video on Libra. Libra women. I had Libra women, they be now what I'm saying about Libra women is simply my own little perspective. You know, they be late a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, so they be late a lot. My, 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 my best friend, my homeboy, he's a Libra. I do know Libras are, are well balanced. They are about principle. That's why they, they sound like the scales. You know, they are about principle and balance. So Libra is going to keep the balance in anything in life when you get around them. You know, they're they going to keep that balance in your life. And they, they are some thinkers. Libras are, are thinkers. You know, but they they seem to have they seem to have a well I don't know obviously they are very matter of fact type of people you know what I'm saying that's kind of who they are you know I, I I was interested in this Libra woman one time and um it didn't go far I guess I moved too slow for. Her. <laughs> What's good, Cynthia? We in the house. I guess I was moving too slow for, but it ain't it ain't go far. I don't, I can't really say why. 
She did cook for me one time. That was cool. And I, the other Libra chick, I was, I went on some dates with. I told you all that story. She kept being late and late and late. I, I had to stop talking to her because she was just notoriously late. Oh yeah, what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you so late all the time? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what's good? You know? But yeah, but it was cool. It was, it was when I was talking to them, they, it, the energy was great. The energy was great and they very intelligent. You know, I, do, I like what they think. I do like what they think. It's why we move so slow. Yeah, we're gonna, we, we move slow, yo, we move slow. Like, we move slow because, appreciate that, Mike. We, we move slow because like we, like we like to take our time. We have a lot of stuff going on mentally. And we like to scope out the scene, scope out the area, see what's really going on. You know, so we move slow like that because we gotta be sure of what we got going on, what this woman is about, what she's talking about, what she got going on. Does it match? Does it fit with us? There's a lot of reasons why I move slow. You know what I'm saying? Did the Virgo man have a type, physical type? I would say, it varies. I say we, I say we are attracted to, to like fit women. Women, that, you know, you be no bodybuilder, but women that's, that's in shape. But it can vary though. It can, it, it can vary though. It, it really can. Virgo more. It's more of an individual, individualistic, individualistic type of type. You know, for Virgo men because Virgo men are so different and they're so unique that they tend to like women. I won't say I won't say from their past, but you know, that kind of fits whatever thing they got on the inside. But generally, though, I would say they like women to be in shape because Virgos are very health conscious. You know, um, they can like thicker women too. You know, I dated some thick women. I did. I did uh, some BBWs. You know what I'm saying? And it was fine. It was fine and with it. You know, but I think I think Virgos like shapely women. I think Virgos like shapely women. You know, I do think they like shapely women. I, I think they like women that's fit and shape and stuff like that. Now, I don't think they expect you to be America Next top model as far as like fitness is more so are you keeping yourself together? You know what I'm saying? Are you, are you health conscious? Because we, can't, we don't like a woman that's not health conscious because it's, it's nasty. You know what I'm saying? It's just nasty, you know. Now you, nobody, I ain't say nobody, but you don't have to be a health guru or anything like that. But it's, it's, it's nasty, man. You know? I, I'll, I'll tell you a story, like one time, <clears throat> I know I said, I know I said I'd be dating a lot of women, but I, I mean, you know, I had experiences, man, you know? Sometimes I'm dating this girl, you know? And she would, her, she didn't take care, she didn't take good care of her health in my opinion. Like she was always like eating the most nastiest things. And she was a little bit, she was a little bit out of shape, but she looked good. You know what I'm saying? She looked good. She, she was a little bit out of shape, but she looked good. And she was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? She was thinking all the right places. But with that being said, it still made me concerned about her eating habits. Cause I'm, I'm, my, this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay. I don't, I don't expect you to be no, like I said, health guru or vegan, cause I'm not vegan or whatever, but you are, you are on the bigger side, you know, and you, you have no restrictions on your eating and you're just taking in everything. You're not working out. It became, it became unattractive. Cause I'm thinking about, okay, if, I, if we get together or married or something, you have children, you're gonna let yourself go. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna blow up. That's what I'm, this is what a lot of guys think. This is what I was thinking. I was like, I, it became unattractive to me because, you know, the worst thing is to, to get, this, ladies, this is how we be feeling. It's the worst thing to get with a woman and you can get married or get whatever and she let herself go. You know what I'm saying? Men hate that. It's like, oh, I don't, you know, you don't, you, you just don't want that. No man, want to, you don't want to sign up for it. You just don't. You don't want to sign up for it. Now, with that being said, you have all different sides of women. You know what I'm saying? If you 
are on the bigger side, but you taking care of yourself, that's good too. Cause like I said, I dated a woman, she was BBW, but she, no, I'm not married. I need to be married. She was, um, yeah, she was a BBW. Fine. She had it. And she carried her weight well. She was very health conscious. She'd be working out, you know, and she can cook and stuff like that. She'd be eating, but she, she, she with it. And it was cool to me. I was like, okay, I see you. She was conscious about it. She didn't just let it go. Now, sometimes she would get off of it, but she would, she would rein it back in. She would keep it in check. And so, um, it's, it's about mindset. Because I know a lot of skinny, skinny women who are horrible with their health. You know, I know a lot of skinny women who like, they are super smokers and super drinkers and it's killing their bodies. I'm like, oh. So it's about mindset, mentality. You know what I'm saying? You see, I'm vegan. No, I'm not vegan. I prefer the best of both worlds. I mean, I like some vegan stuff. I try my best to eat healthy uh, as possible. Um, but I do like a lot of vegan dishes and stuff. There's a lot of healthy restaurants I go to in Atlanta. I got a lot of healthy smoothies, I'm like naturally vegan restaurants, stuff like that. But I, I don't, don't get where I like my soul food, stuff like that. But I also, um, I work out almost every day. I run, I, I cycle all the time, you know. Um, I, I keep it in check, you know. And when I feel myself getting off, I'm like, oh, let me back up. You know what I'm saying? Let me back up. You say I have an air data Virgo. Oh yeah, data Virgo woman. I, look, I got a whole video on that. You know what I'm saying? But I like, I think Virgo and Virgo woman, the connection is crazy deep. You know, cause we know we both know what we like. We ain't tripping. You know, if we ain't calling each other, ain't nobody tripping. You know what I'm saying? But Virgo women are very nice. Virgo women are just like Virgo men, just more emotional. You know what I'm saying? Felicia in the house. You say, what if my, you say if my Virgo man asks me what I want, then I ask him. His response was. Should I take that seat? Oh, if my Virgo asked me what I want, and then I asked him, his response was you. Should I take that seriously? I'll say yes, take that seriously. Take it seriously, because Virgos tend to not say stuff just to be saying it. They tend to not say stuff just to be saying it, you know? So I'll say yeah, take it seriously. You say Virgo are perfectionists, which makes them come across as conceited, yeah. It makes it become, people think we conceited and this and that, we just perfectionists and we just um, confident, super confident, you know. Well, look, y'all, I gotta get out of here because I gotta catch a flight tomorrow and all that good stuff and, you know, there's a lot going on. But make sure y'all be blessed and look, join the membership. So Felicia is a member, you know, so join the membership, because next week I'm going to be dropping some videos just for the members and all that good stuff. My phone ringing. Uh, video surrounding, hold on y'all, video surrounding like uh, intimacy and stuff like that. I'm even going to talk about that for a minute. So uh, make sure y'all stay up with that. And, uh, but hit the join button on the link. And also, you need to talk to me, you know what to do. Hit the link in the description and like, share, and subscribe, people, so we can keep this channel going. So we keep so we keep these videos into the Agler rhythm. You know, yeah, man, the sermon gonna go smooth. I gotta preach, so you know what I'm saying. Gotta preach at a college, so we gonna we gonna make it happen. But I appreciate y'all, y'all holla at your boy, and we are out. Yes, sir.